गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर बबीता पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट ईयर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियो डायग्नोसिस टूडे माई टॉपिक फॉर पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन इज स्टडी ऑफ स्टेजिंग ऑफ मैग्नेटिक रेजोनेस इमेजिंग इन ए वेस्कुलर नेक्रोसिस ऑफ फिमोरल हेड माई एम इज टू स्टडी द स्टेजेस ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन एंड प्रेवलेंस ऑफ ए वेस्कुलर नेक्रोसिस ऑफ फिमोरल हेड ऑन मैग्नेटिक रेजोनेस इमेजिंग इन टर्शरी केयर सेंटर्स objectives are to document the results of magnetic resonance imaging in patients having avascular necrosis of femoral head and staging of avascular necrosis of femoral head as per ficket and arlet classification uh the materials and methods that are being used are the patients with avascular necrosis of femoral head on uh, mri imaging of 2 years were included in the study the hospital record based descriptive study these patients were subjected to mri study over three tesla philips achiva mri machine and t1 t2 and stir sequences were applied staging of avascular necrosis of femoral head was done as per ficket and arlet classification and distribution was done on the basis of age gender and laterality uh this is a coronal stir image uh, showing edema which is involving the right femoral head this can be due to stage 1 of avn uh this is a coronal stir and t1 weighted images showing crescent sign there is cleft due to subchondral fracture involving left femoral head this is seen in stage 3 avn uh this mri image shows coronal stir and t1 weighted images uh showing partial collapse of left femoral head with irregular margins of left hip joint uh there is acetabular involvement this is seen in stage 4 avn and the changes of stage 2 avn are noted on the right uh coming to the results uh, out of 100 patients with suspected avn uh, 60 patients showed features of avn of femoral head on mri uh this is this is the chart uh, that shows the number of patient uh, that have the presentation uh, stage of presentation uh first uh, the stage 0 uh number of patients that were presented with stage 0 were 58 patients uh in stage 1 there were 7 patients uh in stage 2 there were 13 patients in stage 3 there were 26 patients and in stage 4 there were 17 patients uh coming to gender distributions male were commonly more commonly affected affected than the female out of 60 uh, 50 were male and 10 were female who were affected coming to the laterality um, bilateral avn are uh, more uh, common com than compared to the unilateral uh, avn uh, coming to the conclusion it was found that the males were more commonly affected with mean age group between 31 to 40 years most of the patients had bilateral involvement and the involvement of the left and the right side was nearly equal on both sides uh, in case of bilateral involvement the one with higher staging was considered during the distribution and it was found that the most of the patients presented during stage 3 of the disease uh, discussion uh, avascular necrosis of the femoral head is an increasingly common cause of musculoskeletal disability and it poses a major diagnostic and therapeutic challenge although patients are initially asymptomatic avn uh, usually progresses to joint destruction usually before the fifth decade uh, the avascular necrosis is applied to ap epiphyseal or subarticular involvement whereas bone infarct usually is applied for metaphyseal and diaphyseal involvement uh, mri has become the most sensitive and specific and widely used diagnostic imaging modality for evaluation of avn of femoral head Uh, this double line sign is a pathognomonic image indicator for avn uh, on t2w sequences uh, inner bright line representing granulation tissue and outer dark, uh, dark line suggestive of sclerotic bone this sign was predominantly seen in stage 2 diseases uh, femoral head collapse and degenerative changes occur in advanced stages of avn mm, coming to ficket and arlet classification of avascular necrosis of femoral head uh on when during stage 0 the plain radiograph and mri were seen normal uh, there were no clinical symptoms in stage 1 the plain radiograph was normal or 
there might be minor osteopenia that can be seen. On MRI, there would be some edema. Bone scan would show uh, increased uptake. And clinical symptoms, like there would be pain typically in the groin. Uh, in stage two, the plain radiograph shows mixed osteopenia or sclerosis or subchondral cyst without any subchondral lucency. On MRI, there will be some ge geographic defect that's a double line sign. On bone scan, there's increased uptake. Uh, patient will pre would present with pain and stiffness. In stage three, the plain radiograph would show crescent sign and eventual cortical collapse. MRI will show uh, be same as plain radiograph and the clinical symptoms will be pain, stiffness in the presence or absence of radiations to knee and limb. In stage four, the plain radiograph will show end stage with evidence of secondary degenerative changes. On MRI, uh, it shows same as the plain radiograph. Clinical symptoms, there will be pain and limp. Uh, some other classification for avians are Mitchell's classification of avascular necrosis, Steinberg staging of avascular necrosis, ARCO classification, that's association research, circulation osseous classification. Uh, coming to the management, uh, early asymptomatic avian do not need any surgical treatment and should be closely monitored with the serial examination. Surgical treatment of AVM is aimed to retard the progression of AVM in pre-collapsed stage, that is core de decompression. Reconstruction procedure, that is arthroplasty, is done in collapsed stage. Uh, these are my references. Thank you.